The Torah says, V'samti pedus ben ami ben amecha. And God will make a division between our people and the other people. And this concept of Ben Yisrael Amin as a separate nation comes to fruition in the Havdola that we recite Moksi Shabbos, when we thank Hashem for separating between Kodesh and Chol, between Oral and Choshech, and Ben Yisrael Amin. But I understand very well that Moksi Shabbos is the perfect timing to thank Hashem for being Kodesh Lechol, we end Kodesh, we enter the Chol, and being Or Lechoshech, on Motzi Shabbos, God created the Or of Adam Rishon, the first Eish. But where does Bein Yisrael Amen come to fruition? And I think the answer lies in this week's parish, because when the Torah describes the great miracles of the Eser Makos, it does so in such hidden terms almost couching it in natural terms. The Torah says that the Tzfardim came swarming up from the Nile, and the locusts came <coughs> from the wind. The wind blew the locusts. And later we'll learn about the wind that splits the sea. Why does the Torah couch it in such natural terms? Because the answer is, as the Ramban points out, that to us, all of nature, God's creative powers, and everything that we see, and the beautiful flowers, it's all an expression of miracle, of the will of God. We don't differentiate between a supernatural miracle and the natural. Says the Ramban, the supernatural is only a nest, it's only a flag, an indicator to tell us that everything in nature comes from divine providence. He wrote some of his will, that be Yisrael Amin, that when we leave the Shabbos, the Shabbos projects us into the Yavos HaChol, so that we take with us the spirit of Osa Maisa Bracious, and we understand that that Asiya of my celebrations continues throughout the whole week. We will appreciate Hashem, and Hashem will appreciate us. Be Yisrael Amen. Kei Yeratzon. Amen.